Red Dead Online is a vibrant and ever-evolving world where you can experience life across frontier America in your own unique way, where you can battle lawmen, outlaw gangs, and ferocious wild animals. You can build a camp, ride solo, or form a posse and explore everything from the snowy mountains in the north to the swamps of the south. You can chase down bounties, hunt, fish, and trade, search for exotic treasures, run your own underground moonshine distillery, or become a naturalist to learn the secrets of the animal kingdom. And while that's all really cool, there's a set of challenges and problems you'll be facing along the way that you may not necessarily have control over. There's plenty of bugs and glitches to go around, and today we'll be taking a look at some of the biggest and most major problems players face, and more than just discuss them and why they negatively impact the game, I'll be showing you guys exactly how to avoid these problems so you no longer run into any more issues. I mean, what's the point of discussing problems you can't fix, right? So we're gonna get started, and if there's any problems I missed that you know a fix for or ways to avoid it happening, please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video, and if you wanna stay up to date and in the loop with everything, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. So this video aims to highlight the most prominent issues and of course smaller things or problems that we already discussed in the past may not be mentioned outright in this video. For example, the outfit bugs where you cannot save custom outfits or store custom outfits on your horse. There's currently no fix or solution to either of those issues so we'll just have to leave it at that. But first let's talk about black screen problems. Rockstar has fixed most of them but if you have sold your moonshine or tried to hunt legendary animals, you may have noticed this still happens and the cause of this problem is because of the trader role and the fact that you more than likely did a delivery wagon sell mission for Trader right before heading over to your moonshine shack to sell moonshine or you went to Harriet's to hunt the legendary animal. After Marcel speaks and the screen fades to black to load up the moonshine delivery mission, that is when you'll know if you got hit with a black screen or not. And when this happens, unfortunately the only options you have are to close the game down or if you're on PC you can go to resource monitor and suspend the rdr2.exe process for about 10 seconds or so until you disconnect from the game. And if you want to completely avoid black screens and prevent them from happening ever again, then all that's really needed is you need to get into the habit of switching lobbies after every trade or sell you do. Just hit the pause menu, select online, and load into a new session. When it comes into the naturalist role, you won't necessarily black screen, but you will be stuck in an infinite loading loop screen if you do a trader sell before starting one of those legendary animal sighting missions. And the fix here is a little less time consuming, you don't need to find a new session, you're technically in the mission at the current moment in time even though the loading screen still appears on your screen. And so what you need to do is open up the weapon wheel, select the dynamite, throw it at the ground to blow yourself up. And maybe you think it's easier said than done, but you just need to listen for the lit fuse and that's it. Of course, you know your dynamite is selected. From there, it's all about blowing yourself up so you can respawn and the mission will load from there. I've never seen a bug like that before in this game too, where on screen it shows a loading screen, but in reality you're able to control your character in game and use audio clues to solve the issue, so hopefully you found that tip a little bit helpful. I've never really heard anyone else discussing the naturalist bug missions like that, but it happens to me all the time on PC because I'm constantly doing trader missions before I actually go hunt legendary animals. But next is a bug with horses and your saddle and stirrups where all of a sudden you notice, for example, maybe you're Nakadocha's saddle and the hooded stirrup combo seem broken. The stamina on your horse starts to drain very fast like there's basically you're using a default saddle and you aren't sure what happened. Did Rockstar nerf the Nakadocha's saddle and hooded stirrup combo? No, in fact it's just what happens when you feed your horse and that causes it to break. Horse meal, which is the food that gives your horse gold health and stamina cores, is the cause of this glitch. For some reason, feeding your horse the best food possible forces your saddle and stirrup stamina drain prevention effects to not actually work, and your horse's stamina will drain like no saddle is applied at all. And not only does this bug basically eliminate your stamina drain prevention talents, but it also does away with the other regeneration buffs to stamina and health core drain rates too. And it's best you avoid horse meal entirely if you're a player who uses the Nakadocha saddle and hooded stirrup combo, because that glitch happens to you, you need to wait until the horse meal basically wears off for that glitched effect to go away. Now also inside the realm of horses is an issue that can affect any and every horse. This has been an issue for the longest time as well with no fix ever really added to the game and that's the issue of if your horse has been malnourished and their cores are permanently drained. It was a problem when I was on PS4 before PC released and thankfully when I switched to PC the issue seemed to fix itself but many players still have to deal with this problem on console and it's caused by owning a horse in the fifth stable 
stall if you only have the first five unlocked or owning a horse in the 10th stable stall if you own all 10. Now for some reason this bug only happens when all the stable slots are owned and the last one in the original set of five or the current capacity of 10 are owned. Many players think it's something wrong with the actual horse and that's not necessarily true so don't go on deleting your horse just because it seems bugged. Feeding your horse to full health and stamina cores don't really make a difference as the horse still hangs its head in pain and fleeing the horse or stabling it briefly will cause its cores to drain again even if you just fed it horse meal to make gold cores for example. No matter how many times with any food you choose it won't make a difference. The horse is bugged because it's in the glitch stable stall itself. If you discard that horse and buy a new one thinking you'll fix the issue, you'll probably have wasted your money because you'll get the same glitchy results and it's best you just leave that stall untouched for now. I don't know if Rockstar's ever going to fix it. They seem to haven't yet and it's been in the game since launch so that's really unfortunate but what if I told you that just by participating in certain content in the game means your valuable items you paid money for or spent time crafting will get deleted. Well, with the release of the Carmela Montez Legendary Bounty, you will in fact lose items. And initially, Austin BMX reported on this and we tested it out here on the channel ourselves and found out that yes, it is true and it is pretty crazy. Simply starting the Carmela Montez Legendary Bounty results in the player losing one gin, one rum, one potent miracle tonic, and one potent snake oil. Probably doesn't sound like a very big deal, but it gets worse than that. If you fail this mission and either replay from the checkpoint or restart from the beginning, doesn't matter which, you lose two more of each of those items we just discussed. So that's already a total of three lost gin, rum, potent snake oils, and miracle tonics just from one mission restart. If you fail again, that's another two more, and the game just keeps on taking two away from you every time you fail this mission. If you were to then complete the bounty or just quit and find a new session and log out of that bounty, that results in another one of each you're losing. So basically, it's guaranteed that just if you interact with this mission in any capacity, you will lose two of each of these items. When you start the mission, and one when you end the mission. If you die and restart the mission, each time that happens, the game will be removing two more of each of those items from your satchel, and as a result, this means you'll be losing $35 worth of items just by starting and then subsequently completing the Carmela Montez Legendary Bounty. Now this mission is not the only one where this happens, however. As of recently, with the Moonshiner bonuses and one of the weekly Red Dead Online updates, players found that by playing through any of the five Moonshiner story missions resulted in Moonshine and Horse Survivors being taken out of your satchel and your inventory. Even though not as many items get deleted from playing these missions as with the Legendary Bounty we talked about, the amount of Moonshine and the amount of Horse Survivors that get deleted from these missions vary. Sometimes it's one of each, sometimes it's several, sometimes it's 10 or 15, so unfortunately you'll just have to stay away from these five missions right now if you're concerned over losing these items. It's not as terrible as you may think because you can easily buy Horse Survivors and either loot or buy Moonshine, but but who wants to purposely lose items from their character's satchel by starting up missions that they know are bugged and will cause issues? I just want to get the word out there on all these problems and how you can avoid them, and I think with all that said, that is where we will wrap things up for today. That's every major problem in Red Dead Online and surefire ways to avoid these issues negatively impacting your gameplay experience. I really wish there was a solution to all other problems like those outfit glitches that are affecting people, freezes, disconnects, etc. But I hope at least you found this video informative and it helped you out. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, Hopefully I earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content Consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing We consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on Twitch Twitter and Instagram Those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube You're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there You can follow me at hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below That being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic Fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.